you which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Are there no gentlemen left in this? Are there no ladies left in this world? Thank you. Move out of the way. No, don't touch me. <laughs> move. I have a right not to be touched. And you have the space to move. Get out of the way. Which one are you going to be a gentleman? Which one are you going to be a I don't even know what's going on here. I understand she doesn't want to be touched. No, don't touch me! She's asking who's going to be a gentleman. I'm going to assume to give up their seat. But in a situation like that, like, if I was standing beside her and I didn't know what she was yelling about, what do you do? Should I just be like, hey, stop yelling for one second. What do you want? Can I help you? Because that's not going to fly. I feel like she'll just yell at me. Just so you know, I have a gun in the back seat I just bought. You carry 21? No. Okay, well, you don't carry a firearm then. Bought it? Yeah, you can't have a firearm if you're under the age 21. Why? They because let me it's buy illegal. It. They let me buy Who? it. Who? The dealership. Is it a shotgun? Yes. For hunting? Yes. Okay, you cannot have a handgun. Why are you yelling at you me? You said man? a gun. Because you just flipped me off. Oh, man, I'm sorry. What do you think? You're, what? I don't have feelings because I'm a cop? I'm supposed to have thick skin? Dude, you're spitting on me. Why don't you have a mask on? Because I'm on a traffic stop and I don't have to wear a mask because somebody just drives me? by me and flips me off. You're on me? Give me your ID. You guys may not like this answer. I don't know. I think you kind of deserve to be treated like sh You flip off a cop and I don't know what you think is gonna happen. You think they're gonna go about their day? You're almost like baiting them. So it, so I, I don't really feel bad at all that he's now being an a <coughs> Not defending the cop's actions, but what I am saying is like, if he didn't flip off the cop, the cop wouldn't have done that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Things like this make you look good, bro. Oh, the clenched fist. No, 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 one second, one second. No, no if he wants to, no, if he wants to, no, if he wants to, no, he wants to talk to me on someone's no. back, how about he look no. someone in the eyes? Yeah. Hey, I do not need you guys. You guys like taking, like, making, you know? No, go out in the hallway. This is the kind of, see like, I was never like this. I was never that like very aggressive, angry. You know, I liked everybody in high school, more or less. I never really had issues in high school. Cause uh, you know, I'm not, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't like to fight ever. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you guys smash that like button. You guys know we're reacting to some TikTok freakouts. So let's get to reacting. Let's get to freaking out and let's go. Oh, no, go. Uh, okay. Where is it? Next door at the mall, go. Why the go. F your dress is on that? You You devil. You're a Oh my God. Yeah. When I tell you I was not, I'm sure you guys saw my initial reaction. That was genuine. Okay. Where is it? Next door at the mall. Go. That yell really took me back for a second. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a serious yell. But, but the dog came to my Man, property. Look, I've been nice to you. I've helped you and your family. I've always talked to you. You've but never taught, you've never taught me a problem. You've never done a goddamn thing. You coming over here. All you've done is been negative. No, I haven't. I'm gonna ask you to please leave my property. I don't know if you're just having a bad day or whatever, but today. I'm not having a bad day, but you know what? You're a black person in a ne white neighborhood, and you're acting like one. Why don't you act like a white person in a white neighborhood? Keep it up. It's all on camera. I don't give a sh what it is. All right, well, camera. you can go back over to your house, and you can have a nice day. I don't really have much to say about this one, guys. Like, I thought I was gonna laugh at some point, cause it was like getting there, and then she just made that comment. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. I don't feel any sort of like, I, not to say remorse, I don't feel bad saying this at all. It seems like people with that way of thinking are on their way out. They're older, it's the older generation, and I'm okay with that. And I know it's a very morbid way of thinking, but the way I see it is, if you're so far gone, you don't wanna change, then you can't be upset that I'm a little happy that we're not gonna have to deal with that anymore. Stop! What are you do? Open the gate now. That's it. You're in there. You think you got me? That's Open the gate. That's what you get, little- Wait, this isn't even your property. You can't just lock me in here. I could do whatever I want. If you could inspect my lungs with those fumes, and I can't even run 30 steps. No. What are you, I'm gonna get. So I don't understand what you think was gonna happen. She's gonna lock somebody in and then they're not gonna ask for the key back. 
I don't even know what that property was. I don't know if it was like a private thing. I don't know if it's like a government property. I don't know how she, she, she's like a random person. So I don't know how she got the key. I don't know. It's, it's, there's a lot I need to know here. The girl. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Holy Karen. Holy Karen. Calm down, Karen. What are you gonna oh, do? Yeah. What are you gonna, gonna do? Film you. I'm gonna film you. What are you gonna do, I Karen? Do. Where do you live? Where do you live? Call your mother. Where do you live? Look it. There's a scratch on my car. There. Look. Karen, say hi to the Take camera. Take a picture of this. Take a picture. It seems like such a joke that it almost has to be fake. I can't believe that that was real. We're in a weird time. I don't know. Like, I'll admit it, guys. I'm even going through it with this whole stay-at-home <laughs> shit. We're all uh, we're all going through it, and I, I just I don't know when things go back to normal, for lack of a better word. I don't know what the world's gonna be like. Hey, hey, yes. hey! I'm what? Gonna, I'll call you back. Hey, I have seen you around this neighborhood too many times. This is ridiculous. Your, your car is insanely loud. No, 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 <laughs> no. This, there are children that live in this neighborhood. You need to drive somewhere. You know what? I'm calling the police. This is insane. Don't you even think about going anywhere. I'm calling right now. This is insane. You cannot just be driving this loud car in this neighborhood at all hours. I'm calling right now. Don't you even think about going anywhere. This, this, no, no. This is ridiculous. I feel like that was set up. That seems like one of those more set up ones. With all due respect to the blonde lady, I'm not the best actor. That's okay though. And if this is real, with all due respect to the blonde lady, if that's her trying to act and be mad, I would not fall for it. I would be like, are you trying to prank me right now? Are you a bad actor? What's going on? If that was a real situation and she was actually angry, I, I don't want to see her happy because I don't even know what that would look like. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Last year's business is exactly the polar opposite. You couldn't have done much worse unless you bumped my head off. Do you get that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am pissed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am past frustrated. I mean, I've said it before, you're at a super cuts. It's like a $10 haircut. You can't expect salon quality. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I don't know, I, I've always lived by the words, you know, you buy cheap, you get cheap. That's why when I buy cheap things and they break, I don't get mad. Don't, How could this happen? I'm kind of like, yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of my life. Like, I just buy everything cheap because I can't afford much more. <laughs> we have a problem with you. We have a problem when I can't drive home from work every goddamn day because your kids are in the fucking <laughs> road. They're not in the road. They're playing? They're on this side of the street just to slow you down. Good. Take a picture. We'll have the police department here so he can give you a ticket. You freaking psycho. We have. You literally just said you're going to go 45 on our street tomorrow. Did your kids never play on bikes in the street? I never put cones out in the road and try to redirect traffic like I own the goddamn place. I mean, I think it's a pretty common thing on a side street. You shouldn't go that fast. If it's a main street, you're putting cones down. I'd be a little upset too. My neighbors literally put signs in my door that literally just say, slow down, kids at play. My parents are like, sure, we don't care. Our neighbors are kids, so we're like, let's put up the sign anyways for them. Because guess what, guys? We're a community. This road is 35 miles an hour. So you know what? I can come here through 35, hey, I just don't want, I and you guys you can't to, do I it. I hate to see you go to jail for hitting a kid. That's all You know I'm what? Saying. You know what? You know what the officer told me who's out here every time? Hey. There was four people hit last year on this bridge. You know what he tells you? What does he tell you? You know what he tells you? It's your own <laughs> fault because you shouldn't right. be out here on the bridge. All right, so don't right. tell me you don't want to see me hey, hitting I'm just anybody, out okay? For society. You so want... you know what? You don't tell me to f off and get off the bridge. Hey. Shagger, eh? I get it. I understand her frustration. I think a lot of the times that we see these Karen freak ass and these people being recorded when they're angry, I think they're just caught in the moment. I think a lot of them are having a bad day and it just so happens that they freak out at the wrong person, the wrong person starts to film them, and they go viral. I could be wrong. Some of these people could always act like this, which is unfortunate. I would hate to live my life with this much anger inside of me at all times, but all right. Hey, you. Hello? Hey, you. What is Where's it? Where's your mask? Where is your mask? I'm in my car. What, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, and you're not wearing a mask. I, Put your mask on. I'm in my car. I don't need a mask in my car. We all have to wear a mask. Put I feel like that's a fake one. I feel like this is the same girl that did the, uh, your dog bit me, your Rottweiler. I'm pretty sure that's the same girl. And I feel like she's purposely making these Karen videos now because they are very funny. So if it is her, hats off to you. I'm not wearing a hat right now. You're doing a great job. And if this is real, yikes. All right, guys, it's all for this one. Been your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you guys smash that like button. You're watching Top 10 Central, and we'll see you guys soon. I can't react. Uh, can't get that excited. Apparently, my ear pods just don't stay in my big ears.
I got a pretty deep register too. I can go pretty, I, I can go pretty deep like this on the top of it. I can get deep down to this kind of voice down here. That's, you know, not to say, in, you know, it's pretty impressive. And we all care about each other, even though we don't talk to each other really. More of a just like a, hey, how are you? In the morning when I go to work, when I used to go to work, now my work is from home. But, you know, aside from the, hey, hey, you know, Shabbat Shalom, as us Jewish folks like to say on, on, on Saturdays. Uh, aside from that, you know, we don't really interact much. That being said, there's still a respect to drive slow. You know, I don't know. I just think it's this situation. You know, there's kids around. Just be respectful.